Marcel Brands. Now, what what are we giving him? He's out a cool of, guy. Out of, yeah, he is. He's so competent and uh, quite suave as well. Do you know? There's a lot of debate at the moment about who should be the next Bond. And Idris Elba's obviously being mentioned. <laughs> I think Brands would make a terrific. Yeah, I'll back that. Bond. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, but, think, but, I think he'd make a good Bond film. It, there is that. Well. As I said, that I thought <laughs> that David. So that he needs. He's that competent. He can play both roles. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe you could do a Bond where he's both. You know what I mean? Like one of them Eddie Murphy films, where like, <laughs> like uh, all right. I want to know now is the next interview Marcel Brands do. I want to see him walk along and go, Brands, <laughs> Marcel, Brands. That would be That's amazing. It. But out of ten, what are we giving him so far, Paul? And then I'll go through this. I'm going to give him a nine. I would give him a ten, but he himself actually uh, decided off by saying next season I want business done earlier. But the business has been great. Um, nine out of ten is a harsh one for me there. That's only because it wasn't done earlier. Because then if it was done earlier, we would have had the likes of me and stuff. But when he described the deal, the fact that the transfer window stayed open for other leagues, and Barca was sort of waiting around saying maybe we'll get a bigger offer. Yeah. I was very happy to hear that like, those players were keen on coming to Everton as soon as they heard. Yeah, yeah. Dave? Well, they've got a high eight. Right. Minute, I think. Why didn't he get a ten? Proof's in the pudding though, isn't he? Still, these players still haven't played yet. Yeah. The, only, the only one who's actually come in has been Richardson. We played last game. We played with ten men. We were all within the same set, within the side last season. Seven, eight, seven. Yeah. Okay. I think he's done all right. Done all right. Yeah. I think, I think he's done. Right. Got, I give him a nine personally. Yeah. I think he's done fine. Do you know the reason why I wouldn't give him a ten? Why? It's because we didn't sign a centre forward. I thought we yeah. maybe need another back, bit of back for well, two. Well, you know, well, 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 there are options there. Silver likes Nias, doesn't he? And there's Dominic Calvert Lewin. And, and he's got a tune out of him in the past. Yes. And as you say, there's Calvert Lewin. And if Luckman stays. He could offer us something going forward. I mean, that's another question. Walcott's always wanted to play through that. Exactly. Through the through the attacking through the middle. wise, we're all right. So the biggest issue was defence, and he got two defenders in. So yeah. whether those defenders work on that it was yet to be seen. But at least, like, he got three defenders, didn't he? Actually, because he got Dinny as well. The only thing I would say is, I wish he'd gone for Ter- Tierney, and I wish he, you know, paid Celtic what they wanted because we ended up paying 35 million plus extras for for Charleston. 20 million to Celtic for Tierney would have would have been a decent. You know, we only. Paid four less for Dinier, didn't we? Yeah. So that's the only thing I would say. I wish he'd really, really gone for Journey and really pushed for him. But that's because I personally rate Journey very highly. You know, I want to give Betty in, hopefully, fingers crossed. It'll can't be any worse than last year or past two or three years, can it? Is that the only reason why you wouldn't give him 10 out of 10, do you think, is the fact that he Everton didn't do the business well, sooner? Well, look at them clowns over the road. They seem to do everything right away. Get his junk sorted in the way and finish with I always would say I'm all sorry, last day you'd say the last day at um, transfer every time. Mm. But hopefully, fingers crossed, he's got it right. Nine or ten, you know, he just he brings an air of professionalism to the club that I don't think we've had in a very, very long time. He seems to be very meticulous in what he does. You know, obviously we've seen lately like, he's had these a period of time where he's dedicated to the media saying what's going on and give us a bit of insight into what his job actually entails and that type of transparency, transparency, as I said, not something that we've had at the club for quite a while. And as I say, mate, I can't speak highly enough of him. He's really bringing a, a sense of hope back to the club. Ten. It's got. It's really? got to be. No, but okay. seriously, like you look at, you can say everything about the transfers. You know, you can say best signings, loads of money, brilliant. You know, being able to get rid of all these players. But Marcel Brands, he has to be the best signing we've made this summer by far. He's brought organisation to the club. He's brought a bit of character, in a sense, you know, looking so effortlessly, the Dutch, Dutch man himself. <laughs> um, he's brought a vision, yeah. he's brought ambition, he's brought a hell of a lot of players, but he's addressed, he's looked at the squad, looked what needed to go, looked what needed to come in, and he's brought the progression. That, that's the key word for him. He's progressed the club. You know, made us actually look like contenders because he he did more in probably two weeks than Walsh did in an entire two years. So I definitely said rate him ten out of ten. You're a big 11, fan, man. I am a massive fan.